what is going on everybody back at it again with another YouTube video and today I'm gonna to be talking about the running backs you know we have a couple solid ones but do we have a backup for Miles Sanders is that that's the real question and that you know that's what I'm really gonna be discussing in this video now we all know Miles Sanders you know 13 all-purpose yards last season he was an absolute dog and he you know he did struggle in the beginning with the fumbles and all that but you know once Jordan Howard went down like week six week seven it was really Miles Sanders backfield it was his team it, it was his job and I think that's the best decision the Eagles have made when the Eagles used the run game when they used Miles Sanders you just saw the offense move, the flow. It was just beautiful. It was it was amazing. It was great. And I love Miles Sanders. You know, he's my favorite player on the team. Penn State guy. Not that I like Penn State, but, you know, he's a local kid. He got to stay in Pennsylvania. I really like him. I really do. And I do believe that he is the franchise back. I really do believe he could be... A really great player for this Eagles team for a long time yes he's a running back yes I know that they don't last very long in this league and that's what's gonna bother me come his contract year because obviously we just saw Christian McCaffrey get that 64 million dollar deal 16 million dollars a year for like what four years and Miles Sanders said he kind of wanted the same amount like when that time is gonna come he he could see himself being in the same spot as Christian McCaffrey. Now, Christian McCaffrey is an all... He, he's, a, he's, he's a beast. He's a god. He's literally a stud. And, you know, he put that Carolina Panthers team on his back last year as far as they could possibly go with him carrying them. And they won, like, what, six, seven games? I, I could be wrong there, but... Christian McCaffrey... Very well very well might be if not the best back definitely a top three back in this in the nfl if i had a if i had to rank my running backs i'd probably go saquon one mccaffrey or zeke two and then derrick henry or zeke three it there's like four guys that are hovering around that top three running back i i don't think there's any question i i definitely think saquon is my number one back in the nfl but then you have guys like Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey, Derrick Henry, Ezekiel Elliott. And, you know, Miles Sanders could very well be up there one day. He really could. His ability to, to catch the ball out of the backfield, his ability to run. He struggled last year with hitting the hole. But then when he did that, when he finally did that, you saw what happened. You saw the game against Buffalo, that long 70-yard run. You saw what he did against Dallas. You saw what he did against Washington. Obviously, you have Boston Scott that could possibly be a backup. And he carried the Eagles against those two Giants games. It, he carried the Eagles in those two Giants games. He did. Three touchdowns in Week 17 and the Monday night game. The man was possessed. He was a possessed man out there. And I love Boston Scott for what he did, and he really did help the Eagles get to where they were at, you know, come playoff time. If it wasn't for Boston Scott and Miles Sanders, we probably wouldn't have been there. And yes, you can also say Greg Ward and, you know, Wentz, and I understand that. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the running backs. And Miles Sanders and Boston Scott did a very, very good job of holding that down. You know, when Jordan Howard you know, mysteriously got injured during the bye week. And, you know, Jay Ajayi, when he was here for that, you know, couple weeks. So I like Boston Scott, but is he going to be the backup running back to Miles Sanders? I don't know. I, I think it's too early to tell. Because now you have the Eagles that just signed Corey Clement yesterday. They just signed him to a one-year deal. And, okay, it's Corey Clement. He had a very good Super Bowl. He, you know, he was a good part of that Super Bowl run. 
but it's Corey Clement. He has problem problems fumbling the ball. He or he doesn't have problems. He fumbles the ball. He you know, he's more of a special teamer. He's more like a Kenyon Barner type of guy or like a Danell Pumphrey or somebody like that. That's who Corey Clement reminds me of. And yes, he's a hometown kid, Glassboro. You know, I live 15 minutes from Glassboro. Rowan College, like literally is right there. Rowan University, right there. I've been there multiple times. But I don't know how I feel about Corey Clement. I don't think he wins the back of running back position. He could be like a big down, third down back type of guy. You give him the ball, third and one, third and inches, fourth and one, fourth and two. Short yardage. You give him that ball, and he can make sure to to hit the hole and, you know, get the first down. Who knows? But here's where things could get interesting. Adrian Killens from UCF, or UFC, no, UCF, he could be a stud. He had a great combine. He was a speed demon. He could win, people are saying that he could win the, the, the backup spot over Boston Scott. And it he very well, he might. But you got to remember, we are in a pandemic. He is not going to get OTAs. He is not going to get the practice with the first teamers, with the second teamers, with the third teamers that Boston Scott Miles Sanders had last season, you know, coming in. Obviously, last year you had Jordan Howard, who's now in Miami, and you had, you know, you had a bunch of guys. J.J. is no longer on a team. He'll probably never play football again. I, I can't see it. His knees are shot. You have your starter, Miles Sanders. The backup position race for me right now, as of right now, is Boston Scott and Adrian Killens. Now, that doesn't mean we're not going to sign a backup or we're not going to sign a veteran running back. Because they they put out a tweet yesterday that they are still looking for a veteran veteran back. No matter who knows what that could be. Could it be Shady? Could it be like a Matt? Well, Matt Breida just got traded. It could be Shady. It could be, you know, anything. I, I can't think of any because I don't know any because we have a lot of running backs now. The main guy that I'm thinking about, though, bringing in a veteran type of halfback is LaShawn McCoy. Why do I think that? He's put out multiple times that he wants to come back to Philadelphia and play for the Eagles. He has said that. He has announced it. He has put it on Instagram, put it on Twitter. He has been very vocal about coming back and playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. And my opinion on that, I wouldn't mind it. I don't think he's that guy that's going to be as effective as he once was. There's no shot of that. But LaShawn McCoy is an all-timer for an Eagle. For the Eagles. He's an all-timer. He's a very good player. He was he was an all-decade player with the Bills, with the Chiefs, with the and with the Eagles. His most famous game to me was obviously the snowball, obviously running up and down that field. What do you have, like two touchdowns against the Lions? I strictly remember watching that game, and during halftime, I had to go outside and shovel the driveway because it was it, it was that insane. I was off from school for like three days that week. I strictly remember that game. Now, I don't remember his yards and everything like that, but I remember him shimmying and, you know, breaking away from a tackle, breaking ankles. Like, he was amazing. He was amazing. But he's not the same LaShawn McCoy. He's not. And we all know that. And we probably have to accept that if he does not end up getting signed with the Eagles. Now, he already said that he will retire in Midnight Green. He'll probably sign a one-day contract like B-Dog did. Or, you know, like past players have done with other teams. And that's fine. But I don't know... If the Eagles and LaShawn McCoy will figure it out. How much could you pay a fourth or a fifth running back on a team? A veteran fifth running back on the team. That, yes, you bring him on to the team. 
and he will give Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Adrian Kellen some some tips. And I'm not saying you won't, but we're not. I'm not trying to pay. Like I don't think the Eagles want to pay that much for a coach. You know what I mean? Because he's not going to get much playing time. He's going to be. He's going to have very limited snaps, just like Corey Clement is. And we just got to see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. They said they were looking for a veteran back. Who knows if that's even the truth? Right now, the running backs are Adrian Killens, Corey Clement, Boston Scott, and Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is automatically the starter week one, running back one. He is the guy. He's the franchise running back. It's going to it's going to be if there is a training camp, if there is whatever you want to call it, it's going to be a fun rivalry, sort of say, with Boston Scott and Adrian Killens. That that's what I'm gonna leave it at. Now, if you guys agree with me, it who do you guys think is gonna win the running back race out of Boston Scott and Killens? Let me know down below. Let's talk about it. Thank you all for watching this video, like, to push it out to great Philadelphia fans, comment down below who is going to win the running back race out of Scott and Killens, and make sure you subscribe, we are at 366 subscribers when I hit record, let's try to hit 370 by the end of today, we are close to 400, we are on the road to 400, the grind does not stop as we all know, thank you all for watching and I'm out, peace.